students i am dr anita sharma welcome in my chemistry class in today's lecture i am going to explain you valence bond theory of hydrogen molecule so without further ado let's begin hello students in this lecture i am going to explain valence bond theory of h2 molecule and this topic comes under the syllabus of gujarat university paper 302 for fi semester 5 so in this lecture when i have to start valence bond theory for h2 molecule first we have to understand why h2 molecule forms so this we can understand with the help of these two reactions so what are the reactions here you can see when h2 molecule dissociates it requires 433 kj energy and here in formation of h2 molecule this much energy 433 kilo joule energy released it means this reaction is spontaneous reaction but this is non spontaneous reaction because in this reaction we need this much energy so basically hydrogen molecule is a formation or dissociation both we have seen here so formation is easier than dissociation in first reaction we can see for the dissociation of hydrogen molecule 433 kilo joule energy is required so it this could not be spontaneous reaction and second reaction formation of hydrogen molecule 433 kilo joule energy is released which proves that it it's a spontaneous reaction in this reaction the energy of the product is less than the energy of reactants it means product is stable here you can see energy of the product is less than the energy of reactants so whenever this condition occurs the product will be stable now i will show you one graph how hydrogen molecule is formed and what is the relation between its potential energy and interatomic distance for h2 molecule so here you can see here on x axis i have taken interatomic distance on y axis i have taken potential energy so here one graph you can see here we have two hydrogen atoms when they are far apart from each other here when interatomic distance is maximum that time there no attraction no repulsion will be there and potential energy seems here it is zero when they start coming close to each other their potential energy here you can see continuously decreasing a particular point where the potential energy is minimum at this point you can see potential energy of h2 molecules because they are very close to each other is minimum and at this point h2 molecules form and now if they will come close to come close more to each other then repulsion will start and due to this repulsion again their potential energy will increase so here you can see at this point the interionic distance is 0.074 nanometer so here i have explained these three points so when two atoms are at infinite distance no attraction no repulsion takes place so the total energy will be zero now second condition as both the atom come atoms come close to each other attraction and repulsion forces exist and third condition so in graph due to initial attraction potential energy decreases and the point where potential energy is minimum shows maximum attraction between both the atoms and this is called bond length of h2 molecule that is 0.74 angstrom and at this point the wave function can be represent as the total wave function of h2 molecule is equal to the wave function of atom a and wave function of atom b c so here it is the product of wave function of both the atoms after this point if any atom if atoms come close more close to each other then they start repelling each other that i have shown you so as they start repelling each other their potential energy increases so now we have to see the condition uh, in terms of quantum mechanics when h2 molecule is formed what will be the condition so suppose we have two hydrogen atoms kept at infinite distance from each other then there will be no interaction between them but as they begin come close to each other the following new forces came in existence means when they are far apart from each other no attraction no repulsion but when they start 
coming close to each other the following new uh, attractions and repulsion we will see so which attractions and which repulsions will work that we have to see one by one so here you can see first we will see how many kind of attraction how many attractions will exist so force of attraction between nucleus of ha and electrons of hb means if we are having two atoms ha and hb so attraction of ha means nucleus of ha will attract towards the electrons of hb second attraction second attraction just opposite nucleus of hb and electrons of ha third attraction force of attraction between nucleus of hb and electrons of hb and third attraction which is very natural attraction nucleus of ha and electrons of ha so means two attractions are very natural like ha which is an atom in this atom the nucleus ha we have and the electrons of this atom itself we have so they will show attraction hb also will show the attractions so here here we can see attractions as well as repulsion so here you can see now repulsions so which kind of repulsion so here repulsion force of repulsion between nucleus of ha and nucleus of hb so both nucleus means positive positive will repel each other and force of repulsion between electrons of ha and electrons of hb will be there so in short you can see here when h2 molecule forms these four types of attractions and two repulsions will be there so total four attraction forces and two repulsive forces comes in existence in hydrogen molecule and their potential energy represented by e square upon r that we have to understand now we will write all the attractions and repulsions in terms of potential energy so here i have drawn the figure this is the figure where you can see we have this is a ha atom and this is hb atom these are the electrons uh, of hb atom and this is the electron of ha atom so now first we will see the attraction so attraction between this is very uh, normal attraction attraction of nucleus of ha and the attraction of electrons of ha attraction of nucleus of hb and attraction of electrons of hb second type now attraction this is third attraction attraction between the nucleus of hb and electrons of ha and attraction between nucleus of ha and electrons of hb so there are four types of attraction and due to attraction molecules get stability that is why attraction always the potential energy of attraction will write in write with negative sign so here minus e square upon r 1a means this attraction minus e square upon r 2b this attraction we are talking about now minus e square r 1b means we are talking about this attraction now minus e square upon r 2a this attraction so after four attractions two repulsions also will be there so what will be the repulsions here you can see repulsion between nucleus of ha and nucleus of hb and electrons of ha and electrons of hb so there will be two repulsions and due to repulsion potential energy increases so that potential energy of repulsion we will write in terms of this with positive sign so e square upon r 1 2 plus e square upon r so here you can see i have shown these repulsions separately so here repulsion between Uh, these two and repulsion between these two so this is the energy of repulsion so this four attractions and two repulsions will be there when h2 molecules form now we will write these attractions and repulsions in terms of wave function so when two atoms coordinate both have wave function and system lots a lot uh, their individual characteristics so psi covalent since uh, covalent bond we are talking about so in psi covalent covalent um, psi wave function of total molecule will equal to psi a1 into psi b2 plus 
psi a2 into psi v1. Moreover, H2 molecule has some ionic nature as well. So, if ionic nature is there, this is our H2 molecule. So, sometimes first atom will be negatively charged and second atom could be positively charged. And just opposite condition also uh, uh, possible that is H anion and Hb cation could be possible. So, in that condition, when we have to write the wave function of ionic character of H2 molecule, we will write like this psi A1 into psi A2 plus psi B1 into psi B2. So, when we have to write total wave function, so total wave function in terms of wave function when we represent H2 formation that could be psi is equal to psi covalent plus psi ionic. So, what we need to do is we will write the wave function of covalent bond and wave function of ionic bond. So, what we need to do is we will put the values of this covalent bond and here ionic bond. So, we will get the total wave function of formation of H2 where psi is the total wave function. So, what exactly we have learned in this formation of H2 molecule when molecule H2 molecule forms two atoms which are taking part in the formation of H2 molecule combine and they form H2 molecule. So, four new attractions and two new repulsions exist and what we have to do now we will calculate the potential energies of attractions and potential energy of repulsion and after addition of all potential energies we will get the total potential energy of that molecule and after that we have to calculate the wave function wave function of covalent bond and since hydrogen molecule is having ionic character also so the wave function of ionic character and then both the wave function wave function of covalent and wave function of ionic character both wave function will combine and we will get total wave function here you can see so in terms of wave function we can write the formation of H2 molecule we can represent like this and these are the references thank you